Hey guys, Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid here, and this is my basic champion's guide to Echo. Echo is a really strong champion in solo queue, especially since he's been released not too long ago, so not everyone really knows about all his skills and how they work exactly, so if you have a lot of knowledge about your champion, he's the kind of champion that can roam a lot, snowball really hard. Basically, you want to play safe in the early game, play him throughout the game a lot like a Fizz. You, you get a couple items, or you get your starting couple of Dorans, or start building into your first item, you can start taking lane control, and you can look to push that by either getting a kill in your lane or roaming somewhere else. And just if they're not playing around your all properly, you can instantly burst people and set up a lot of big plays. I think he's just a fun champion and he does very well in solo queue. Uh, the big point about Echo's laning is that you want to be playing around the other person's cooldowns. If someone blows his cooldowns trying to harass you or farming, you can instantly go in for the EQ trade, proc your passive and run out with the extra movement speed. That's really how you want to be trading pretty much throughout the lane. And as you're looking for the all-in, you want to try to W from either over a wall, just out of vision, in a brush, somewhere like that, and look for an all-in. Echo plays very safe early game, starting with Flask and just looking to get as much farm as you can and staying even in CS. After your first back, when you get some items, you can usually take control over the lane around level 6 and 7 because it's very hard to gank you with your ult. So at that point, start taking control over the lane, push him out slowly and look for an all-in opportunity if you can. Team fights with Echo, you mostly want to be playing around low health champions on the enemy team that you can jump in and burst, or you want to be playing off of your W and the stun and shield. Echo is a very squishy champion, even if you build him somewhat tanky with Abyssal or Zhonya's or Roa, uh, you're still going to die fairly easily, especially later in the game. So you want to be playing off your stun, get stunned on as many people as possible, pop a big shield, and then go in and do your full combo of damage. Uh, the main way to really get your ult off in fights is the worst scenario, I guess, is if you have to ult out to try to save your own life. It can be very useful if you get a burst on a carry, but generally you want to try to get it for damage. To get it for damage, either it's when people are chasing you and you can use it when they're running the path that you were running away from them. And the one that's most common is jumping into the fight using your stun, having Zhonya's, and then af after you come out of the Zhonya's uh, status, your clone will catch up to you and it'll be on top of you and you can get an ult on a couple people. But you really just have to test on your own. There's a lot of different ways you can use your ult and you can get really creative with it. A good tip to get consistent trades with Echo is that his E cancels out his Q animation. So if you E and Q at the same time and then jump on them, it pretty much cancels out the entire Q animation and it makes the trade a lot smoother. It's really your core way to proc your passive throughout the laning phase and just get consistent trades. Some of the bigger tips for using W especially is when you're looking for all in a lane, maybe he's around 60% HP, you want to be throwing your W from either in the brush or somewhere in the lane where they cannot see you. They will see the animation of you casting W, but if you're out of Fog of War, you can use a ridiculously long range of the ability to still get the W off on them. So cast it, then run out of Fog of War, and as it pops on them, you can jump on them. It's really the only reliable way you can get it on someone, and if you ever do it out in the open where they see you, they'll move from their position and dodge it. I was asked, what is the best way to use the Echo's ultimate? Is it by looking at the ghost or just remembering where you were four seconds ago? I think it's a little bit of both. You have to remember your pathing and where you were, but it's extremely hard to just time it off the last four seconds because you're not going to be counting back four seconds and remembering exactly where you are throughout the team fight. So just have a good overview of the team fight. Think of where you were, and then as you're looking in the overall fight or looking towards that direction, you'll see where you were very quickly. Just have a good overview of the team fight, and you should be able to spot where you were. For runes on Echo, I always go Magic Pen Reds and Flat AP Quents. Uh, yellows vary between HP per level against Magic Damage matchups or Flat Armor against melee uh, physical damage matchups. Blues are either Magic Resist if you need the early game Magic Resist or CDR Scaling because CDR is a very strong set on Echo, so you can have multiple pages for multiple situations. For Masteries on Echo, I run 21-9-0. In the Offense Tree, I get Double Edge Sword and Spell Weaving because they're both very strong on the champion. Uh, spell weaving is just since you get a lot of basic attacks to proc your passive as well as your E counting as a basic attack, uh, it stacks up the spell damage uh, percentage really easily. Obviously 9 defense is very good on melee champions because you get the block, increased HP region and just more health overall. For echo skill order you should pretty much always go Q at level 1. It's just a range tool you can use for harassing or farming, it's just a very solid skill overall. At 2 you go E because you can do the Q and E combo for the trade to proc your passive, that's really your main way of trading throughout the laning phase. At level 3, you can choose between W or Q. It's really matchup dependent whether you're going to be playing passive or farming more or going in for the trades where you can use the sun and the shield. After that, you should be maxing Q into E and W and R whenever you can. On Echo, I believe you should pretty much always start Flask. Since he's a melee champion, a lot like Fizz in the early game laning phase, you want to get through the early game laning phase, maybe with a trade or two. 
but you really want to get into your other items and get Dorans to have a stronger laning phase. For your main core item builds, there's multiple items where you can go. You can go for CDR early, something like Morello's. You can go for more passive scaling with tankier with Rod of Ages, or you can go straight into um, countering your lane through resistances, which is what I prefer. So rushing either Abyssal or something like Jean, Sheen and Zhonyas against physical damage champions is very strong in the lane because you basically counter the opponent's uh, damage by building the resistance right away, and it still works very well on him. Um, late game items, it's really, again, personal preference. I believe Zhonyas is very important for team fighting, but other than that, you can build CDR, you can build Ludens, Lich Bane, Deathcap Void, and really any way you prefer. Just try a lot of different things. A lot of a lot of things work on this champion. Thanks for watching this, guys, to Echo. There's tons more over at lawclass.com, so check them out.